My name is Washington. I'm from Federal University of Uberlândia, Brazil. The work I present today is about turb corrosion in ferrite stainless steel, a methodological approach. This work is about a new method to measure the wear of ferric stainless steel in corrosive environment. It is part of a bigger research connected to problems of sugar alcohol industry. Basically, it consists in of a corrosion cell mounted on a reciprocating sliding wear test. This setup is well described in literature for measurement of the potential dynamic curve during the sliding wear test. This system was improved using uh, special instrumentation for recording the history of friction coefficient during the test here and here. Uh, it is called triboscopy. Uh, it gave us the information of friction coefficient in each position of the sample here along the test. In this case, it is clear the effect of corrosion on friction coefficient indicating the change of turbological behavior according to the potential dynamic curve zone. Here we have the active zone, the passive zone, here indicated the transpassive zone. Uh, this graph, we have the average of friction measurements in the, uh, plotted in the potential dynamic curve. It is clear that the friction decreases here uh, when passive film is formed in comparison to the sliding wear tests in red. Uh, also, the wear mechanism found was very different from each zone. Here we have for active zone, for passive zone, and for transpassive zone. We call attention to the abrasive wear found here in transpassive zone that was similar to the wear mechanism found in sliding wear tests. Okay. Regarding to the wear, here we have the wear rate for turbo corrosion tests and for sliding wear tests. Here we have a comparison with only corrosive corrosion. And the small positive synergy uh, was connected uh, to the wear mechanism found here in transpassive zone comparing to sliding wear tests. Okay. Thank you for your attention. I'll be glad to answer any questions.